Listen, let me tell you, the world of science is serving up news so juicy, it's going to make your wig shift quicker than the lab experiment going wild. Get ready for some mind-blowing revelations, because this tea got more twists than the DNA double helix. We're talking coral reefs, deep sea mysteries, and rainforest treetops, all considered biodiversity hotspots, right? Well, guess what? They all got to step aside because there's a new kid on the block still in the spotlight, and that's the dirt beneath our feet. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You heard that right. The soil is where it's at when it comes to species diversity. You want to talk about it? Let's get cryptic. Now, according to a sizzling new study, soils are taking a crown as the most species-rich ecosystems across the globe. And listen to this, they're more important for our nutrition than that midnight snack you've been having in your pantry. Mm -hmm. But here's the twist, the amount of soils going down the drain literally is on the rise. We're talking destruction, people. A fabulous trio of researchers led by the Swiss Federal Institute for Forest Snow and Landscape Research, also known as WSL, just dropped some bombshell findings. They rolled up their sleeves and estimated global soil biodiversity for the first time ever, and the results are hotter than a summer in the Sahara. The team from WSL, along with the University of Zurich and Agroscope Agricultural Research Station, dug into some scientific literature and reevaluated data sets on soil species. And guess what they found out? Brace yourselves, two thirds of all species on this planet are kicking it in the soil. Yes, you heard me right, more than double the previous estimates. Previous numbers said that it was only about 25% of species that were soil dwellers. What a shakeup, right? Fun guy, you better sashay down that soil wrong way, because 90% of them are strutting their stuff down there, and the plants, Monica, they're bringing their roots to the party with 86%. Earthworms and snails are keeping the real with 20%, but catch this tea. No one's even tried to count those teeny tiny organisms like bacteria, viruses, and all those other microscopic players. And guess what? They're the real stars of the show. They're like the Taylor Swifts of the soil world, recycling nutrients and storing carbon and throwing shade as pathogens and tree partners. Now, don't get it twisted. The soil diversity party ain't just a walk in the park. The data's like a jigsaw puzzle, missing a few pieces, especially in the global south. You've got bacteria from a range of 25% to 88%. <sighs> Talk about keeping us on our toes. And those viruses... Monica, listen, girl, those guys are like the mysterious bad boys you can't quite figure out. But let me tell you, despite the uncertainties, these researchers are standing tall and ready to face the music. Why, you ask? Because their goal is fierce. They're throwing the spotlight on soil screaming for better protection. Monica, let's face it, soil's been through the ringer, from climate change to invasive species. It's a hot mess out there. These studies ain't just a drop in the bucket. It's a whole new ocean of awareness. These precious soils need more love, care, and respect. And we're here to spill the tea. So remember, when you're walking down the street, don't forget to give a little love to the soil beneath your feet. It's where the real drama's at, and we're ready to give it the attention it deserves.